Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're one of my subscribers, welcome back. If you're not, think about hitting the subscribe button and the like buttons and help me out. Today we're gonna to be doing an oil change on a 2018 F250 with the 6.7 liter diesel. Um, something quick, we'll just go through it in case you guys have never done it before. Let's get started. All right, guys, we'll go over real quick what you're gonna to need to do this oil change. I use all motorcraft and I do a lot of towing. So I got the 15W40 diesel motor oil. You can use 10W30. Uh, there's some synthetics you can use. Whatever, whichever ones you decide you wanna use, just make sure that they meet Ford's uh, specification of the WSS. Not all of the oils meet that specification. So just make sure you pay attention. Don't count on the guys at AutoZone to tell you what the correct oils are. Flip it over and read it on the back. You're going to also need a oil filter. That's the FL-2051S. Again, there's plenty of other good manufacturers out there. I just stick with Motocraft on everything. You're going to need a funnel and some shop rags. Make sure the funnel's clean. Oil filter wrench, two different kinds you can use. You can use the band kind or you can use the socket kind. Either one will work. All right, so we got it up on the lift. We, uh, we kind of cheated a little bit. I got one of these easy, easy drain valves. Bought it off of Amazon. If I can figure out uh, when I bought it, I'll put the link down there in the description. And uh, this definitely makes life easier, especially if you're on your back. I mean, up on the lift, it doesn't really make much of a difference. But if you're on your back, just flipping that little valve definitely would make life easier. All right, let's get the oil paint under here and get going. And you just flip it and you let it go. All right, we're just gonna use the oil filter wrench. To loosen this up it's gonna make a big mess so just let it do its thing once you get it loose you should be able to get it off and once you get it loose you can just hand spin it off the rest of the way yeah there's the mess It's a little easier to do if you're standing in here, but the camera's in there, so I can't stand there. So we'll just let that drain the rest of the way out as well. All right, we're gonna get some of this oil. I like to put a little bit of oil in the oil filter before I put it on. You know, it just makes it easier. And that way when the truck starts, it doesn't start dry. It's got at least a little bit in here. Oil up that. That gasket right there. That way when you put it in, it slides in nice. So this is something important as well. Every time I change it, the old gasket gets stuck on there. So make sure you feel up there. Make sure you pull this off. Because two gaskets, it's definitely going to leak. Uh, ask me how I know. Huh, because I've done it. Alright, so let's put the filter on. I always go as tight as I can get it by hand. And then another quarter turn with the wrench. There we go. Do a quick wipe up while we're under here. We'll start our valve. One drawback to that valve is it, it takes forever. It seems it takes forever for all that oil to drain out. All right, well, that's everything we got to do under the truck. So let's get all this stuff out of our way. We'll drop the truck down, we'll put the oil in it, and then we'll be done. Before we add the oil, let's make sure the funnel's clean. You don't want to introduce any contaminants into your system. So make sure it's all wiped down real well. And uh, you know that includes the outside of the funnel too. You don't want any contaminants dripping off this thing or falling off this thing into the engine. 
13 quarts. All right, let's check it. We are spot on. That's it. So, 13 quarts. I'll put it right on the full mark. All right, putting the 13 quarts in. This is probably something most people know, but for those of you who don't, uh, here it is. So you have three five quart uh, oil jugs. How do you know where the two quart mark is? So on the side here, you can see that there are numbers and you just you just pour it down you just pour it down and subtract it as you go so five that's four three two so when you're at the two you're at 13 quarts so five ten eleven twelve thirteen so maybe that taught somebody something they didn't know once you the oil changed filters done last thing to do is to reset the uh, warning light on the dash so as you can see it comes up you just hit the ok button you go back to the to the menu go down to settings hit that go to advanced settings you hit the right button again it goes to vehicle hit the right button again and then it says uh, oil life reset hit the right button again and then you just press and hold the ok button And the reset is complete and then uh, it'll go off again in however many miles the truck determines it needs an oil change all right guys that concludes the oil change I realize for most people that's pretty straightforward uh, but for those of you who are starting out doing your own maintenance this is an easy DIY thing uh, save yourself probably at least a hundred bucks from a dealer the uh, I'll put it down in the link for that oil pan drain valve it makes life a lot easier you, you don't end up dropping the oil pan or the oil plug pan into the uh, into the drain pan and then you got to go fishing for it so if you guys are interested in seeing more hit the subscribe button and if you like what you saw hit the thumbs up button the next project coming down the pipe is going to be airbags for the truck uh, i bought a new dump trailer and it's got a little too much tongue weight for the stock suspension so um, again think about subscribing and giving it a thumbs up thanks